Hi, I'm Belinda, and I'd like to share a printmaking method with you called Dry Point. This is the plate. It's plexiglass, also known as Lexan, Optics, Perspex, Acrylic, etc. And once it's inked and wiped and put through the press behind me, this is the print. This Let's have a look at how this was made and maybe you can make one too. The first step was to bevel the edges with a rasp and sanding blocks. I sketched the figure in the plate and then pulled a proof or test print. I painted the proof with watercolor, then scanned it and printed the scan in black and white. Painting the proof print allowed me to study the values in the image. By scanning the proof print and then printing it in black and white, I have a map of my darks and lights. The reference for my cross-hatching in detail now comes from a painting instead of a photograph, and I like that. Each line engraved in the plate is a trough that will hold ink. Lines that are incised close together or in a cross-hatch pattern create a lot of tooth on the plate. By tooth, I mean rough patches, which will hold a lot of ink and result in printing some nice darks. I used three tools on this plate and I've put links to each of them in the comments below. But here we have a twisted scribe, a cork handled scribe, and a diamond point scribe. They all work very well on plexiglass and they're all between eight and about $15 a piece. I've got a piece of gray mat board underneath the plate so that I can see my line work. Engraving and cross hatching on clear plexiglass leaves passages on the surface that look chalky white the areas that are unengraved look dark, so it's the opposite of what your end result will be. Once the plate is finished, inking, wiping, and printing is the most time intensive part of the printmaking process. I've learned the most about this by reading a lot of books and also by scrutinizing dry points in museums. On this plate, I have applied the ink with a dauber, scraped off the excess with a plastic card, and the first pass of wiping was done with tarlatan. Tarlatan is starched cheesecloth, and that can be purchased online or at any art supply store that sells printmaking supplies. After the tarlatan, I use crumpled pieces of phone book paper or newsprint, and each passage of wiping gets slower and more meticulous. Here I'm using a cotton nib to polish some bright white areas. And the trick with wiping these plates is to go very, very slow and meticulous. At the very end, you wipe your edges before putting the plate on the press. Printmaking paper is torn to a size just a little bit larger than the plate, and then it's soaked in water for five to eight minutes and then blotted before printing. The piece in this demo is a small edition of 10, so the inking, wiping, and printing happens 10 times before the plate is destroyed. Dry points can be left as is or enhanced with other media. As with many of my prints, I plan to add watercolor to this one. So that's how Book Escape was made. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more coming. Um, and for those of you who have asked for printmaking methods that don't involve the use of a press, I have a bunch of those in process right now, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching and thanks for stopping by. See ya.